First of all, I think uh, in a business which is successful, as is his business, I always say to my team, you should be thinking that the worst is coming and you should never be satisfied. And you sh should be always uh, frightened and on the qui vive. In a way, state of mind is to be positive, paranoid. So, on one hand, we try to be thinking of the worst, but on the other hand, we are optimistic. I try to be uh, optimistic long-term, but pessimistic short-term. That's a good state of mind, I think. In the 90s, I had the idea of a luxury group. And at the time, I was very much criticized for it. I remember people telling me it does not make sense to put together so many brands. And my father was really exceptional because he always gave me the sense of business. And when I arrived in the business with him, after three years, he told me, say, guy, I think you are able to, to run the business, so let's do it. <laughs> And he gave, gave me the key. I was 25, uh, and, and I was running. It was a small business, only 1,000 people. Uh, but uh, you know, it was risky for him because it's a business he built over his uh, entire life. Starting from that, we built a uh, LVMH today. Uh, and it took us also a long time to to build, uh, and against a lot of criticism. And a lot of people thought we were crazy to do it. And then uh, we tried to build it. And today, uh, 15, a little more than 15 years after, it's the number one seller worldwide of beauty products. And it's also a very, very successful internet retailer. For instance, we are number one in the US for beauty products uh, selling on the internet far above any competitor. The group, the LVMS group, in spite of its size, is very, very startup minded. And I think it's part of our culture. It's because I am an engineer and I have always been passionate about technology. And for me to be in touch with startups Technology startup has always been a passion. I have invested in many of them with variable success, but globally uh, it was, and it still is, a fantastic experience. You know, LVMH, I said, is a large group by French standard. Today, believe it or not, we are number one on the French uh, market cap uh, here. But, but I think by international standards, it's still very small. So I used to say to my team, we are still very small. We are still like a startup. And I will be happy when we have maybe two or three times that market cap. So we'll see if we can get it. Our culture is based mainly on creativity. And in a startup, the major reason for success <clears throat> at the beginning is to have an ID, a, a creative ID, an innovative ID that is <clears throat> really putting the company with an advance to everybody else. It should be to be successful, a game changer. But it's not enough. I think almost as important as the idea at the beginning is the execution. And the fact that building on the idea must be really very professional, very efficient, and that also makes a difference. I have seen a lot of startups with very interesting ideas, but with also some other competitors almost with the same ideas, but only one 
or two of them are successful. It's because the execution of their business plan. So it's key for the long-term success uh, of a startup to be able to execute well. In our business, uh, what is really important is to keep the level of innovation. So for the long term, I think we have the teams that assure us to create enough new invention, new products, uh, to keep on with the growth of the market. But it's a constant uh, uh, quest. Uh, we see maybe every year 20, between 20 and 25% of new products, and we have to look at them in every uh, detail uh, to make sure that the level of innovation is really <coughs> sufficient. Because the tendency in, in a group that works well is sometimes, and we try to avoid it, uh, some form of auto-satisfaction. Uh, and when you see the, the results from the press, uh, I, I prefer, frankly, to have some critics than to have, as we did during the last uh, release of the numbers, people everywhere saying, oh, it's fantastic, the numbers are great, and blah, 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 <clears throat> which is not good uh, for the, the state of mind. You know, at the beginning, when I started the group, <clears throat> we did a turnaround. Uh, and I think to be uh, really good long-term, you should keep that same state of mind. As a company, even if it's successful, should be managed in a way as if it could get under within the next uh, 12 months. Luxury, for, for me, is how can you create desire? The, the most important word uh, in, in our business is desire. How to create desire? I don't like very much the word luxury because you have something attached to it which means show off, which means something of non-significance, something futile, something that is useless. And I think a better definition is combination of quality and creativity. It's how I define what we do. We don't do marketing. Because marketing is against what a company like us should do. We do completely differently. We create new products and sometimes it fails. But when it's successful, the customers follow. So, so it's a challenging market, but for strong brands, it's full of potential. In the past, we went through many crises. We are able to grow faster than the competition. And sometimes also, uh, it's a good period uh, to, to find opportunities. But you have to be patient and try to avoid to invest when everything is too expensive. <laughs> because you see, you see people in the stock market. When it's going to grow fast, they try to buy. And on the opposite, when it's going down, the people try to sell faster and faster, which is strange. And always in a situation, think of what can go wrong. And always put you in question is what we do uh, really enough? Are we doing uh, the good innovations? Uh, are we uh, managing in the right direction? What can go bad? That, that, is, uh, that is fun uh, and the key to success.